not there, 2K Lab. Man, check this out, man. As always, full disclosure, man. Last night's video, 4.2 thousand views with 500 likes, man. This is what I want to try to do tonight. Let's try to get 800 view, 800 likes and 8,000 views, man. The only way we can do that is if y'all go ahead, hit the like button on the video, and we get to like 200 likes before we get to uh, 1,500 views, man, because that gets us really going to the moon. If we don't do that, it's very important because if we don't, we won't get into YouTube algorithm and the channel won't get to grow. And y'all see how things have been, you know, kind of diminishing all over the last couple of weeks. But it's cool. It might just be 2K itself. Hey, man, hey. But if you do that, you get immortalized here in the McNulty Gang Wall of Fame, man. Y'all come through and say what's up, man. Hey, man, said let's go. But I don't know why. But to me, shooting is easy. I've never been able to shoot this good. Uh, but I ain't played in a week, so I don't know what uh, <laughs> what it is now. Now, that's the big thing right there, man, because I wanted to talk about that. We're going to talk about that and some other things because people like my guy, Freddie, man, I don't even know how you play this game or if you don't have a lot of time to play the game. I don't know how y'all can be expected to adjust to the game and, and keep these adjustments. I can because... I play the game way too much. But the people that don't get a chance to play it that much, I wonder how y'all keep up and if this game just insanely difficult for you because the only thing you know is you go away and come back and the game is completely different. Or do you just think that your skills have diminished over time with, with not playing the game? Let me know which one y'all think down in the comment section, man. And also, man, hey, the best uh, comment, top comment from yesterday, my boy, Binary State of Mind, he just says, 2K just needs competitors, uh, I mean, uh, needs com competitors competitors plain and simple as long as they have the lion's share of the market nothing will change and that's all i can tell y'all man and with that you can just drop the mic and the only thing we're gonna say is yes sir what's going on everybody it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ coming to you live with another video man check it out man listen i just want y'all to know y'all guys are really 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 killing the like button and all this stuff man if y'all could do me a favor let's get to 300 likes before we get to 1500 views so they can get us in the algorithm man and like i said y'all already know we're trying to go to this thing to the moon Alice! and if nobody told y'all this today y'all my brothers my sisters my family love each and every last one of y'all man let's just get right into it man because i want to talk i want to have a conversation with y'all about how this is one of the most casual 2ks of all time even though they keep making all of these changes and it feels like it should be a more you know, competitors, like you'd be like, shoot, well, if they keep making changes, then it's more of a competitor's 2K or it's, it's a, it's a tryhard 2K, but it's really not because they keep making changes and they doing these things. And, um, when you change something and things are random, that means that no real skill can be involved in it or what have you. So if, if it's too random, then I can only be so good. And if I can only be so good and we don't know who's good, then that really blurs the line between, somebody that's really good because if i can only shoot 50 percent off if if only if any of us can only shoot 40 percent even wide open even though we know steph shoots like 80 percent wide open and all those shots uh are, you know his 40 percent is tied up with the things that he's hit he's able to hit contested shots he's able to hit uh you know con uh you know shots from somebody's right there he's able to hit shots off screens running this way and that way but his his open shot percentage is what makes his normal field goal percentage come up but we can't even hit wide open shots so there's no delineation between myself and someone else because everybody in the game is shooting around 50 percent and if that is the case that just means that there's no real skill gap in the game by implementing something that is too is so difficult that it that it makes it appear to be random and then you got somebody like two tack and dynasty that actually figure it out and they look like they're cheating or what have you and i it is what it is y'all think that y'all think them boys are sensational if y'all think they are if y'all think they not it is what it is but y'all understand what i'm saying when you make something so insanely difficult or you continue to move the goalposts or what have you and nobody can be to the point where nobody can actually be much better than anybody else there's no separation in the game and if there's no separation then the only thing that means is what if there's no separation then everybody's trash it's just like uh what, what, what my man said uh syndrome on incredibles when everybody's super nobody will be so when everybody's ass, nobody's ass. That's how that's how 2K look at it. But we're gonna talk about that in one second, man. I want to reference this tweet real quick by my boy uh Swante, man. Hey, he just said he says, hey, dang, sizing up in front of or in front of a defender uh and not getting instantly plucked is realistic. Why is 2K not like this? Now I want to tell y'all something though. I get what he's saying, but bro, look at let, let, let's just look at what's really going on here. Okay. Right here, he's at least three to five feet from him. Jab step, size up, 
another now this is three to five feet maybe even six feet right here what 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 when people get the ball stolen from and see he's still sizing up it's still three to five feet you understand that he's maintaining space when people dribble on 2k and then he and then he did a step back made more space and then he shot the ball so really what the big difference here is space when people play 2k they're not dribbling with space they're not dribbling with pace look at how close this young man is going to get to him and start sizing up and stuff like that like like they dribble right in people's face like literally you can smell their breath so like it, it, that's what we are talking about man it's, it's a little bit different but i get what they're saying you're not going to get plucked instantly but nobody sizes up a good distance from the guy so when we, if you say that then, then we can actually say well nobody in the nba dribbles two inches from somebody else's face and don't and not dribble it off their shoe so it's some give and take there man it is what it is up next hey we got that boy red city boy he says hey we were told you we wouldn't lose adrenaline bars unless we got bumped uh what happened to that so mike did actually say something like that but it wasn't unless you get bumped see we, we were skewed i don't know if he's it, maybe he didn't read the thing or you know i don't think he's intentionally doing it or anything but it was the two ways that you could lose adrenaline bars that was just two ways that you could lose adrenaline bars. and y'all are originally seeing a rare instance where they actually pass me the ball but pass it on time and not in emergency situations in the house of random so it is what it is but uh mike said you were it was actually the verbiage is you will not only lose adrenaline bars when you get bumped but also when you commit to the launch so you can l2 counts you can do all this stuff or you can you can size up and you can go here and go go there just a little bit or what have you but when you actually commit to it you're going to lose the bar i'm not even so sure people are losing bars when they're getting bumped y'all gotta let me know about that because i be bumping people and i feel like they're not losing the bar now you're not going to lose it in the back court or what have you but i really feel like people are not losing bars like that um on me man so y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section up next hey we got that boy nba 2k intel says 2k been out exactly for two months what are your thoughts no squad rex is the most fun i've had in in 2k ever worst 2k ever gameplay is okay 100 percent the devs and the uh community is what ruined it okay i can i can deal with that we're gonna read one more uh way too much grind for for a sports game just to create a custom build i can i can dig that hey keep that energy for mmos they I mean, MMOs, not yearly release games done with it. I can see that. Like, if you know, you're playing something like an MMO or, um, like, like, um, like if you're going to play, like, um, uh, what's that Warcraft or something like that and you and that those games go on for years and years, then yeah, I can see it. But what he's saying is this is way too much grind. Um, and and that and you got to pay for it, uh, for a yearly sports title if it was something that was perpetual I, I think that a lot of people probably wouldn't have a big issue with it but hey it is what it is hey uh you know yeah, hey it is what it is up next we got my boy black cobra saying hey this is brother nation says enjoy yourself now 2k 2k devs will just uh will change shooting and god knows what else uh what else you know they'll find that people are having fun and so black cobra was really just saying what black cobra um he retorted on that. I just did this so y'all can see my jump shot. Cause like I said, I'm stroking. He's stroking it, baby. He's stroking it. Big shout out to my guy Nino, man. Told me to go get all them hot spots and that'll make a world of difference. And it definitely does. Because what I found, I found some sauce in the game. And I really feel like the game doesn't know where you're shooting from. So sometimes when I'm taking shots, um, and you got a high midi and a high three ball, it'll think I'm taking the midi when I'm taking the three. And I had cold spots on my midi. And I think that's why I was missing because after I fixed them, uh, my boy Nino told me you fixed that. And uh, I went and got hot spots everywhere. I'll show y'all that at the end of this game. And I've been hitting crazy not only hot spots where you shoot from but you want hot spots from in front of where you normally shoot from as well but anyway hey he says basketball and 2k can never be patched when you play the game how the devs intended for you to i mean for it to be played there's no patch that'll hinder your enjoyment and i agree with that man because a lot of the way that people are trying to play right now they're playing in a way that's not natural it's not the way that right wrong or indifferent they are not playing the way and the guy said he was like man they're letting you shoot man you know let me get a shot and i was like let me i let you get a shot because he was a center and i was like i know how it is man with centers in here they don't like even right there they're not going to give you the ball that much when you're wide open so i said you go ahead and get you a shot man but like i said right wrong and different i feel like a lot of times we're not playing the game the way that 2k intended for us to play but i also feel like that's that's that could be also be a fallacy because 2k doesn't even know what's in the game they said that the slump ain't in the game the slump is very real they say that that the bad shot selection wide open and stuff like that and in the game open looks I, I feel like open looks just doesn't work and i think maybe that what the that's what the problem is because open looks really doesn't work like it should it does work but it doesn't tell when you're truly open then that that could be part of it but i just feel like a lot of times with 2k 
um, you know, if we're playing a game the way that the devs uh wanted us to want us to play it, you're fine. Like I feel really feel like they want point guards to be to be really dishing point guards or what have you this year. I don't think they really want point guards to be just go crazy for 40 points, 80 points, and really be the heart and soul of the team to where you can't even, if the point guard don't score 50, you're not going to score points. I think they're just trying to push away from that, but I wish they would come out and say that. I think we can all feel that, but they don't come out and say it, man. But anyway, uh, but because of that, Midi Man, aka Dynasty, said, genuine question. Why do people who play, I mean, who play 2K non competitively feel the absolute need to come in and argue with people who play this game for a living? Uh, is it, is, and y'all see all my hotspots right here. Uh, I said, is it like that in other games with competitive or on the competitive scene? And I, I don't know, man. I, I couldn't tell you that. But Bass Plus says the community will be at peace on this, on this once people realize y'all are both playing uh that y'all are both playing different games wreck and real pro am are not even the same game and then one guy says because they because uh they play green green eggs and ham in the wreck and drop 40 hey man it is what it is and see that's why a lot of people don't respect y'all that don't really don't just really just don't give a f about y'all because y'all come with this this whole condescending whole thing and it's just like like why do you all like, like, why do you all comment on something that's not your job? Like the development of the game. Like y'all comment on the devs and, and their competency level and all the stuff and now argue with them all day long. I haven't seen not one of y'all program a game. So if something is true, then the inverse must also be true to make that be true. Such as an uh, object at rest stays at rest unless impacted by an outside force. And which also means that an object in motion must stay in motion unless impacted by an outside force. Do you understand what I'm saying? Probably going too fast for y'all because all y'all do is play 2K. But uh, what I'm saying is, if one thing is true, the inverse, if, the, if, if, you, if there is no vision without light, then with light, there, must, there also must come vision. Do y'all do understand what I'm saying? Which means that if I'm not telling you about your job, then you must not be able to tell me about my job, but y'all do it all the time. Y'all tell the devs about how they do, and y'all come out there and bitch, bitch, moan and complain and do all of that. So if they can talk, tell somebody about their job, why can't nobody tell y'all about y'all job? Y'all tell the customer service uh, a person or the tech support person about their job all the time. Y'all do it all the time, and we know you do because I do it. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. But anyway, Splashy came back and said, can somebody answer this for me, please? Uh, like, like, do do people argue with comp comp slash people in cod or whatever we, we don't really care what he's talking about but you understand what i'm saying like he's saying that but y'all argue with the devs all the time and that is literally their job so it, it is what it is and if you don't believe it i mean we got to the, the, the very next tweet you're telling the guy you're telling the devs about the game and what their vision is and hey you may not like it it's fine nobody can like like it's fine to voice your opinion but at the same time you can't you can't try to I don't think anybody really cares about that, you know, talking about this, this, and that. But you're talking about how, in this video, he's talking about how the guards are have been left out to dry, hung out to dry more or less, and they have. He's absolutely right. And he's he's expressing his displeasure with something that impacts him. And that's the same thing that the people are doing, whether they be bots or what have you. They feel like the game that you guys are playing or the, the, the things that you all request to be changed right wrong or indifferent they feel as though that the things that you all are requesting to be changed is impacting their game or that they did this because you guys are shooting too high of a percentage so they feel like what you all are doing is impacting them therefore they're voicing their opinion and they're taking their rate they're taking their their uh what would you call it they're taking their anger out on you right wrong or indifferent that's all that's going on there and you are doing the same thing that they're doing so i don't understand how like that's how females do they complain about things and i ain't no no disrespect to no females and nothing like that but that's just like you complain about something that you're doing yourself i just don't understand that i'm not going to complain about somebody doing that i myself am doing so if they're complaining about something that you all are doing because they feel like it's impacting them it's the same reason that you all are complaining to the devs about something that they're doing that is impacting you all whether it's directly and inadvertently or any of that so that's, that's all that is man but like i said man it's really hard to be good at a game like this because again to his point you can't tell who a good point guard is you can't tell who 
who really, really is like that as far as as it goes because the game is so random and it will hold your stats down. And once you miss a couple of shots, you're just not going to be hitting for the rest of that game. So you got to be very careful. You got to play it the way that the Dales want us to play it. It is what it is. But again, if one thing is true, then the inverse must be true. So if you can't, if nobody can talk to you about the comp scene because they're not in the comp scene, you can't talk to no devs about the devs, Devin, because you're not a dev. It's it's really that simple, or or at least that's how simple you're trying to make. It really don't make me no difference, bro. I don't, I don't care. I'm a network engineer. I just do this for fun. So my, my, my stuff is not contingent upon my ability to play 2K. So I, I really don't care, but it's just one of those things. It's just kind of asinine that, you know, if, again, if one thing must be, if one thing is true, then the inverse must be true for that thing to be true. So it is what it is. If white reflects all light, then black must absorb all light or, or you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, or, or if, um, if, um, green reflects only green, but it must absorb everything else. Like that's, that's how those things work. So it, it is what it is. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying to the game, when you put something, you make something so hard that, that getting it right. So the game, if it's so difficult that when somebody actually does it right, it seems like it's random. Then the difficult in the difficulty in the game makes you know, it, it is random and thus nobody is better than the next person or it appears that nobody is better than the next person. We can't get into delineation because you can't be good at something that is random unless you're just very good at predicting the randomness, in which case you need to be going to do prize picks and stuff like that, my boy, because I ain't a lot of y'all. But y'all y'all get what I'm saying, man. Like, I think that they just went a little too far with it. And when you try to push the difficulty and force things down, like I really, this is what I really feel like. I feel like that they did the same thing did whatever they wanted to to the green windows, made the green windows smaller, but then they also uh, then they also left the RNG at the top of the shot, so it still decides whether or not you hit a shot. I'm labbing some things, and I'm finding out some stuff about this game, especially with shooting, with the hot zones, all that stuff, so we'll figure that out, man. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Hit me with a like now and there, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ.